Number 62, what is the concentration of the NaCl solution, so the salt, right, sodium chloride solution, that results when 0.15 liters of a 0.556 molar solution is allowed to evaporate until the volume is reduced to 0.105 liters? Okay, so looks like here, what's going on? It seems like they're asking for a concentration. And remember, a concentration is a fancy word for molarity. So they're looking for a molarity here, right? What is the molarity? So what's the molarity of a solution that comes about when you had this amount of liters, 0.15 liters of a already uh, molar solution, and then it was allowed to evaporate. Now, when we're evaporating something, what's happening, right? When something evaporates, basically um, a liquid gets lost, right? And in this case, I could probably suggest that the evaporation is going to be coming from water, right? So when you evaporate, you lose water. And that's why it seems like we started with a volume of 0.15 liters. And then when it evaporated, you see how the volume is lower? I went from 0.15 all the way down to 0.105 liters. The difference between those is that you lost water. So this is like the opposite of a dilution. A dilution is when you gain water, right? You add water to the system. Evaporation is when you lose it. Now, it actually doesn't matter whether you gain water or lose water. The idea is that the amount of moles in your solution, no matter how much water you add or how much water you lose, the amount of moles is going to be the same. Which makes us be, which, which is why we can still use the dilution formula, which is this one. M1V1 equals M2V2. All this is saying is that there's going to be a change in volume. And because of that, your molarity is going to change. However, when you multiply a molarity times a volume, you actually get the moles. So in this case, the moles of any solution should stay the same no matter whether you gain water or whether you lose water. So I can still use my molarity, uh, my dilution formula here. Now we just got to find out what are the numbers that go into this formula. Well, the hardest part is that we just have to pick pairs, right? The one stand for one pair of molarity and volume and the other one, the two stand for another pair, but it's pretty easy once you can spot out a little trick. Look up top here, guys, right? Now it's saying that it's resulting, right? That results when, so we have 0.15 liters of a molarity. Do you see how they're basically setting you up when they say volume of a molarity? When you see that, this is going to be a pair. So you found one pair. These have to be on one side of the formula. Now, does it matter whether it's the left side or whether it's the right side? Absolutely not, because they're equal to each other. So let's just say that we're just going to put this on the left side. The molarity I'm going to put here is 0 0.556 molarity. And the volume I'm going to put on this side is 0 0.150 liters. So now I should be able to figure out what the other molarity and the other volume is. Well, let's see. For the molarity, they're literally asking, what is the molarity? We don't know. So this is going to be x. And what's the corresponding volume? Well, it was allowed to evaporate until the volume was reduced to 0 0.105. So that's the volume, 0 0.105 liters. We can proceed because the unit for the volumes are the same. They're both liters. So let's just plug it and play. We got 
0.556. Now I'm going to get rid of my units because I know what unit I'm going to have at the end. So I don't really need to drag the units along. So this is 0.150 equals x times 0.105. Solve for x, you want to divide by the 0 0.105. 0 0.105, and then just plug in and play. Let's see what we get. Okay, there we go. So let's see, 0.556 times 0.15, and all divided by 0 0.105. I see I have the lowest number of three sig figs, so my answer should have three sig figs. So 0 0.794. And now since this was a molarity, the unit should match what the other molarity was. Since this was a capital M, it makes sense. This would be a molarity, capital M. Just know that molarity is moles over liters. So that unit is acceptable as well. But since they gave it as capital M, I'll just give it as capital M. And that's it. There is the concentration or the, or the molarity, 0.794. All right, that's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Was it easy? Was this hard? How do you like dilution formulas? I mean, nobody really likes dilution formulas, but I guess they're, they're easy, right? What do you think? Subscribe to the channel if you like. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you so much. You guys rock. Let's keep studying hard. I'll be here every step of the way. See you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.